Hey everyone, there are a lot of misconceptions about how Nicehash works and the purpose of this video is to explain how you get paid when using Nicehash and how can you monitor whether your mining system is fully optimized and working with complete reliability and most importantly how to read Nicehash charts. But let's start with the basics. Cryptocurrency mining is nothing else but performing calculations of hash values. Hash is a one-way function which calculates output XA out of input IA. Each input IA also has a special number appended, which consists of two parts, NS and NM. NS means non-server and NM means non-miner. Your miner gets job from NiceHash server, which contains IA and NS and your miner chooses NM for each calculation and then calculates output according to the following formula. So XA equals to hash of IA, NS and NM. Now result of this calculation is XA. XA is a very big number and if this number is smaller than TA, meaning target that is provided in the job, then your, then your miner finds a share and corresponding NM is sent to NiceHash as proof of work. This proves that your miner actually performed work to find appropriate nonce. Because hash is a one-way function, there is no other possibility for miner but to try many nonces. So for example, if you're mining with 60 mega hashes per second, this means that your miner is trying 60 million of nonces per second and making 60 million hash calculations per second. So let's, let's explain what a share is. So when your miner is lucky to find uh, an appropriate nonce NM, it packs it together with ID of the job and this is sent to NiceHash server as share. And NiceHash can then basically do three things. Your share is accepted as valid. The second scenario is that share is rejected as invalid, meaning that the calculation was wrong. Or the share is rejected as stale, meaning, meaning it came too late. So let's go through those, uh, let's go through these different scenarios. First, let's go through accepted or valid share. Your share is accepted if your nonce is correct, meaning that there was no mistake in calculation and the share arrived to the NiceHash server on time, meaning it was not too late. Usually you can notice accepted shares when minor console window informs you, for example, that a share is accepted. And this is usually represented with a green color. You get paid some fixed amount of Bitcoin for this share. The amount of Bitcoin the share is worth depends on two factors. How hard the work was and how much buyers are paying currently. We will explain only the first one because second one is part of the NiceHash confidential proprietary algorithm. The hardness of work is defined by TA, which is calculated using the following formula. DA is difficulty. So the higher the difficulty, the smaller the number TA. And for minor, it is harder, meaning it takes longer to guess appropriate XA, which would be smaller than TA. In fact, if we increase difficulty by a factor of two, the number TA becomes smaller by a factor of two and your miner consequently finds only half as many shares as before. So NiceHash adjusts DA dynamically according to your miner's speed. If your miner is faster and is submitting shares more frequently than expected, NiceHash increases difficulty. If your miner is slower and is submitting shares rarely, 
the nice hash decreases difficulty. Therefore, it does not matter how many shares your miner finds, but rather how many weighted shares your miner finds. This value can be represented with two-dimensional graph of accepted speed. You can see this chart if you click on all algorithms and then choose Dagger Hashimoto as shown in the picture. Now this is very important. Accepted speed on NiceHash is the most important chart. It tells you how your miner is actually performing. If your chart is showing greatly depressed numbers compared to what your miner is displaying in a console, then you're being cheated out. It is well known fact that some third party miners artificially inflate console speed numbers to attract more customers and in most cases they do not deduct the developer fee. So you may get the impression that your miner is performing great with high speed, but on NiceHash your accepted speed chart shows different story. It does not matter what speed your miner reports, but what accepted speed chart on NiceHash says. You are paid directly according to that. NiceHash Rig Manager displays local profitability and actual profitability. Local profitability is speed reported from your miners multiplied with current profitability. It is more stable, but it can be wrong if miner is artificially inflating speed numbers. Actual profitability is calculated by multiplying accepted speed with current profitability. This is why it is called actual. This is what you are actually getting paid. Now let's go through rejected shares that are marked as shares above target. When you get this type of rejected share, it means that your miner provided wrong or invalid calculation and as a consequence, wrong result. Usually this happens if you overclock VRAM too much. Memory is not stable anymore and errors happen. Naturally, you are not paid for rejected shares of any type. You should not have many of these type of rejects. In Rig Manager, you can filter out all other shares and view only average percentage of rejected shares of type target. Now let's go through rejected shares that are marked as stale or job not found. This type of reject is unavoidable. It depends on many factors, including your net network latency to choose a nice hash server. That's why it's important that you choose the closest one. It can also depend on your chosen miner software. A miner software that is sending old shares for jobs that are not valid anymore will generate you stale shares. It is important for a miner to quickly switch to and start working on the new job when old jobs are stale. Excavator performs this task in approximately 1 to 2 milliseconds when using modern CPUs. Our stale share here is below 1%. This means that we are losing about 1% of possible income. So it is worth checking out what is going on. But the question remains, why do jobs become stale anyway? Well, your miner is performing work for a blockchain. There is a new block every few minutes or seconds, depending on, on the blockchain. When that happens, previous jobs become, become stale and cannot be used anymore. In Excavator, when job has suffix clean, all previous jobs are stale. And what is the point of shares? Well, a share with extremely high difficulty, which is above network difficulty of blockchain, is a solution that creates a new block on the blockchain. So hopefully this explains and resolves some misconceptions that you might have about NiceHash. If you want to know more, you are welcome to read our blog and you can also reach us through our customer support and connect with our representatives on Reddit or Discord.